Brandon right now. So he's probably, a, I don't know if he's a little tight, a little loose, probably a little loose being up in that high side. Well, Mike, you made the comment that you didn't think tires, as you see Moffat on pit road on the right-hand side, that, that, uh... Oh, and oh. there's the 18 of Ackes around from the lead. Christian Eckes. Wow. Coming across the tunnel turn, Jamie. Christian Eckes just came on the radio and said, I blew a right rear. Mm. Stalking his first win in the Gander trucks, leading comfortably at the time by about a second, and it is up. It didn't blow out, but it is definitely soft. Well, there's some cords that look like that were rattling on it. Yeah, he just yeah. loses a right rear tire. And nice heads up driving by Brandon Jones to duck under him. Well, that could have very easily taken out both the KBM trucks. See the cords flopping there on that right rear tire. He's called that exactly correct. Well, what a heartbreaker oh, for Eckes. He, he's sideways as he enters the corner. That thing, it was soft on the straightaway even. Eckes hasn't been feeling well this week, been battling a sinus infection, and, uh, and that did not help the way he feels, that's for sure. Now we're going to have another one of these crazy restarts. I'll be nervous, as I'm sure a bunch of crew chiefs and spotters will be too. Those spotters, they really got their work cut out for them here. You mentioned earlier, Todd, it's just such a far piece from the spotter stand down to turn one and seeing around this big racetrack. You know, one thing we I've noticed is a lot of guys on pit road would cut tires, and we've had a lot of accidents today. A lot of debris laying around this racetrack and cutting these tires down. But if you're Kyle Busch and Rudy Fugel, you you got to be just ecstatic about the performance of, yes. of the truck this this weekend and this year. He's just the kid's just done a really great job. Well, and the KBM trucks in general, Pocono is one of the tracks where they run well. As noted, they've won four of the last five, and we'll still have Brandon Jones restarting from the lead here as Eckes crashes from the point. But uh, no fault of his, that's for sure. And Eckes had really, after a bit of a slow start this season, had really gotten it going, turned around. They were third at Atlanta, finished eighth at Homestead, and were on their way to another great finish and maybe the first career win for Christian Eckes before that issue. <laughs> Caution for the eighth time today. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.